Colleagues, Professor Egea is Associate Professor who teaches English at the Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida University in the city of Lapai, Nigeria. His research interests include the intersection of literature and politics in Africa, feminism, cultural studies, and eco-criticism. He's the author of Poetics of Rage, a reading of Remy Raji's poetry, the writings of Zainab Alakali, and in their voices and visions, conversations with new Nigerian writers. But he's also a creative writer, so I wish I could have his voice on this stage. His novel, Sterile Sky, won the 2013 Commonwealth Book Prize for, Africa, for the Africa region. His poetry volumes include What the Sea Told Me, it's a winner also of the ANA Gabriel Okara Prize. There's also Naked Sun and Knife in Tongues. Wouldn't you have loved to hear him today? So let's make sure we have him on the stage next time. Now, just to take a quick uh, look at the book itself, again, uh, it's very much the thing about poetry and performance. What Igaya does is he outlines that the language used by these poets does not merely reflect events. You know, there's a lot of um, Nigerian political scene, basically. It's quite a complex uh, situation with, uh, um, I'm sure my colleagues on stage here can tell us. Um, most poets would, they take the historic details, the socio-political condition of Nigeria, but the, this was very much dominated by the regimes of three generals, Buhari, Babangida, and the late General Abacha. So in this volume, a guy focuses on the work of a number of these poets, and the idea is that the theoretical framework that he uses is hinged on cultural materialism. So what this is saying is that this is a practice of reading based on a combination of historical context, theoretical method, political commitment, and textual analysis. Basically, the military era infiltrated the poetry, you could say, in a good way, of course. And um, this notion of performativity, that a poem is an act in society, as performing a certain action is central to all the works. In fact, most of these poets ensure that even in their prefaces, they emphasize this to say, you know, this, this is their role, this is a specific voice, there's a passion about that, and so on. So what a guy brings in the book that you must all go and buy outside, is that there's a, an interaction between the poetry and the culture and history of military oppression in Nigeria. So I'd invite you all to make sure you get a copy of that book.